Hey guys, this is Daniel Burnett with TrainLikeARanger.com. I want to talk through the Train Like a Ranger Warrior program. So the goal of this video is to give you guys a tutorial on how to read the program and also give insight for people interested in the program, let you guys know what the program includes. So this is the table of contents. We have the waiver and release disclaimer. Uh, warrior performance psychology, so this is sports psychology with some military spice, so this works good for the sports world or the military world. And then Angel Cortez, I uh, want to extend a special thanks. He included a nutrition segment, so I leave a link to Angel as well. You guys can contact him for personalized nutrition programs, but a lot of detail in this uh, nutrition segment. And then I go into macronutrient source examples, how to read a nutrition label, hydration, I take a look at supplements, popular supplements that are used in training, how to warm up and cool down. Also leave a link to my full program on warm ups and cool downs, a very in-depth program. Overtraining, talk about overtraining, talk about how to calculate repetitions based off your one rep max. I talk about the program itself, so it's a six month program and we'll dive more into this here in a second. And then the exercise index, all videos have been created and are there for reference so make sure you check this out if if you're confused on any exercise you can go down reference it there's a video link and so it's all TLR content so you guys uh, will have no confusion here okay so we're taking a look at the program overview so we got month one through six and basically I want to take a look at this program entry real quick so I don't want you guys to get confused you see it twice here basically I want people who are new to lifting to test themselves after month one, after they have developed a base of weightlifting and cardio. If you're not new to lifting, then you can go ahead and take your entry test right away and then go into the program. So that's what this means. So don't let you don't let yourself get hang up here. That doesn't mean take the test twice. You're taking it once, either before month one or after month one, depending on your fitness level. So going forward, so this is an introduction to weightlifting and steady state cardio. This is more, so you start tacking on more on the weightlifting side, and then you got interval cardio like sprinting and, and swimming. So that's important to note. You guys can choose between sprints or swimming, depending on your goal. Month three goes into volume lifting. So this focus is hypertrophy, which I, I add right here. That means muscle growth. And then you got interval cardio and steady state cardio and then we got a midterm progress check so there's some testing criteria here now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the entry test here in a second note that there's more tests than just the entry test the entry test is a uh, is a more simple test we'll actually take a look at it again in month six which I'll cover here in a second so month four we start working on strength and power so powerlifting is uh, more emphasized here and then month five Powerlifting is uh, is everywhere in month five, so powerlifting is the main focus, focusing on speed, so a lot of sprinting or swimming uh, in, in short intervals, short aggressive intervals, and then you have high-intensity high interval training here as well, so that's month five. And then month six, we revisit that entry test among a bunch of other testing criteria that is pretty much a, a focus that is a compilation of all these months. So we're taking all these months and we're combining it into test-driven focus. So that's that's the goal here. So I talk uh, I talk a little little note here about the program. This is where the link of this video is going to go. And then I tell you guys to reach out to my Instagram if you need anything. I leave my Instagram in particular because uh, it is the most popular at this moment. But note that I have other social media. You're welcome to reach me there. You can find it on my official website and click the social media icons. I have uh, I have several platforms, so keep an eye out for that. You can also contact me at my email. I'll go ahead and leave that. So moving forward. So this is the entry test. And we got... Simple testing criteria for, for the entry test. We got the two-minute push-up, two-minute sit-up, two-mile run. Now, this is a section to record your reps or time. So common sense stuff, just pick what's relevant. This one, the the uh, time is dictated, so you're going to record that reps. How many reps can you get in two minutes? 
how many uh, reps can you get in two minutes here. So make sure you give yourself adequate rest between each test. You know, I recommend four or more minutes between each test to get an accurate reading when you got multiple blocks like this. And for the two-mile run, the distance is dictated, so obviously you're going to record time. Deadlift max, make sure that you are warming up properly. So you go through a warm-up, you ease your way into the max, and then same thing for these guys. Make sure you give that adequate rest in between. Um, just be smart with your one-rep maxes. Okay, looking at month one, note this is pretty This is pretty simple. This is day one. Okay, so this is going to be a lot more simple than the rest of the program, but uh, that's why I'd like to start here. Go ahead and show you guys, give you guys a freebie here. So I talk about the warm-up. There's actually a follow-along dynamic stretching routine and cool-down stretching routine. So that is, uh, that is TLR exclusive content. You can go there. And, and watch those videos. I created those videos. So I recommend following this as a list starting from top to bottom. So we're working big to small. This means three sets of 10 reps. So many times you, you see three by 10, or maybe it's another number by another number. What that means is sets by reps. So this is three sets of 10, and I actually leave a block for each set where you can record the reps or wait, or you could do both actually. So let's say like you only complete eight reps at a certain weight and you can make those notes for yourself, you know, um, but the, the goal here is to record your weight at those, uh, at those sets and reps. So going forward, you may see a block here by crunches, you know, 30 second hold. And you, and you may be asking like, uh, what am I supposed to be putting there? Well, Put, put whatever notes you want to leave for yourself. So the goal of 100 reps of crunches is obviously not to move on to you hit 100 reps, but let's say you can only get 80 and, and can't continue. Make a note that you only did 80 reps. This is this table's for you guys, so make the notes that are relevant for you so you can track your progress. Also, at the bottom of this, there is a two-a-day option where you guys can run one to three miles on this day. I'll tell you guys to space these activities throughout the day. So, you know, this is optional for you guys, depending on your goals, you can do more running. I leave a kind of a variable here. So you guys choose whether you want more or less. So keep an eye out for those two a days. Okay, this is a simple cardio day here. This is steady state, right? We got a three mile run or a 20 minute swim. So you guys choose either or record your time or your distance. So obviously if you're doing the three mile run, record time, 20 minute swim, record your distance. So that's, that's optional for you guys. Now I'll get into the interval cardio day. So again, interval cardio day, we got options for sprinting or swimming. So, you know, I'll tell you guys how to warm up here. Again, got those links. And then with the exercise itself, you'll see one set of 800 meter sprint with 800 meter uh, walk for rest interval. So I tell you guys what to do for the rest interval. So what this means is you're gonna sprint 800 meters one time, walk 800 meters. And then when you're done walking 800 meters, you're going to sprint 400 meters, then walk 400 meters. And then see how there's two blocks here? I leave a block for each set. So two by 100 meter sprints. So that means you're gonna sprint 100 meters, walk 100 meters, sprint 100 meters, walk 100 meters. There's blocks here to record your times. So I wanted to so I wanted to dive back and take a look at our Monday routine. Something that's important to cover is you may see something like this. See how this says hip abductions slash side plank hip abduction? That doesn't mean do both of these. That means choose either or. That slash means or. So, you know, I realize that some gyms don't have certain equipment, so I leave options here. So this is a body weight option, that side plank hip abduction. That's a body weight option for hip abductions. This is typically done on a machine, but if your gym doesn't have it, you have this option. So if you see those slashes throughout the program, that means choose either or, depending on what's relevant for you and what your gym has available. So don't get hung up on that. All right, guys, uh, that's, that's all I have to cover on the Warrior program. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. And for you guys following the program, keep me posted on your progress. I hope you all have a great day. Take care.